Hello everyone. Okay, so let's talk about Boolean variables. Spelled this way, Boolean, Boolean variables, or a bool. So these variables store the values true or false. Okay, these, these variables help us, they help signal to us if a certain condition ha exists in a program, if a certain condition exists in a program. So, so let's see an example of it. I'm going to assume that there's a test being taken. And the pass mark for the for the pass mark, okay, for the test is 80. If you get 80 or above, then you pass. So I'm going to define define as a named constant the pass mark. I'm going to set it equal to 80. I'm going to assume a user's age, no, that's not a user's age, a user's score, okay, a user's test score to be equal to let's say 60 for now. 60 for now. And then I'm going to have an if statement to check to see if the user score. Okay, if you get 80 or above, then you've passed the test. So if the user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark, then in that case, we can print out a message saying you passed. But I'm not going to do that. Rather, I'm going to create a Boolean variable, and these are just regular variables, okay, and I'm going to set it either to true or false. In this case, if the user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark, then the student passed. And so I'm going to create a Boolean variable. I'm going to call it student passed. And I'm going to set it equal to true uppercase T. Else, then I'm going to set my boolean variable student passed to be equal to false. I'm, I'm sure you're asking yourself, what's the point of this? Like, what's the point? If you run the program now, nothing is going to happen. But what you can do is later on in your program, you can check on the value of student passed to see if it's true or false, and you, to, you can do something with it. This boolean variable signal to us whether this condition, whether the student pass exists or not, whether it's true or false. And so we can write an if statement and check on the value of student passed. We can say if student passed. If the student passed, then now we can display a message. You can do anything, but let's display a message saying that the student passed. Else, then let's display a message saying that the student did not pass. Okay, so we are setting the Boolean variable to true or false based on whether the user score was greater than or equal to the pass mark or not. And over here, we are checking to see if uh, this is true to display this message here or if it's false to display this message. Now, remember with the if statement, if what's in the if header, if, if the Boolean expression or whatever expression here results to true, then what's in the if body is going to execute. If it results to false, then what's in the else body is going to execute. So because, you know, for example, when, when we run this program now, it's going to say the student did not pass. Why? Because the user score was 60. It checked. If the user score is greater than or equal to the pass mark, the user score was not greater than or equal to the pass mark. It was 60. 60 is not greater than or equal to 80. And so it sets the Boolean variable student pass to false. And over here, we check to see if, it's, if the student passed. Basically, we're checking to see if what's stored in here is true to display the student passed. Because student pass is set to false, it displays the student did not pass. If I change this to 90, and I run the program, it checks. Is 90 greater than or equal to the pass mark? Yes, so it sets, it sets student pass to true. And over here, we're checking to see if student pass, if what's stored in student pass is true. If it's true, then we display the message to student passed else we display the message the student did not pass. Because it was true, because 90 was greater than or equal to the pass mark, we said student passed it true. So because this evaluated to true, we display, display the message the student passed. Now, it's very important not to compare this way. I mean, you can do that. It still works. You can say if student pass is equal to, you're using a double equal sign to compare over here. We are saying if the student passed variable, if what's stored in there, the Boolean variable, is equal to false. You can do that, and it's still going to work. If in, uh, I'm sorry, not false, okay? It's equal to true. I meant true. You're checking to see if what's stored here is equal to true to display the student passed. You can do that, and it's still going to work. If what's stored in here is true, it's going to display the student passed, right? You can do that, but you, you don't have to. Why? Because Booleans, remember, store the values true or false. So if what's stored in here is true, remember, if what's in the if header here is evaluates to true, then what's in the if body is going to execute. So you don't have to really compare using equals to the two equal signs that way. You can just call it this way. You can, I mean, not, you can mention it this way. And you notice that it also makes sense when you're reading it. So if student passed, if this evaluates to true, 
then display the message the student passed. Else, then display the message the student did not pass. All right, so we're going to talk more about it going forward, but this is kind of an overview of Booleans. Um, if you have any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time with the next video. All right, then. Bye-bye.